Hi everyone. So I did these years ago. Um, they're little Winnie the Pooh honey pots and I had actually originally done them for an Easter setup, but I was thinking recently, there's been a whole lot more people having babies, therefore baby showers. Um, these are perfect for baby showers or even birthday parties, one-year-old parties, two-year-old parties, 30-year-old parties, whatever works. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make these little honey pots. You can make them any size you want and they are perfect for decoration or for holding gifts. So to make this, you are going to need plastic pots that are slightly ornate, brown spray paint, gold acrylic paint, sponges, lots of hot glue gun sticks, and a hot glue gun. Start by spray painting your pots brown if they aren't already that color. Then squeeze out a good bit of gold acrylic paint onto a plastic plate or just a piece of plastic. You can take your sponge and make sure it's broken up so it's got a rough texture to it. You're going to sponge some of that gold onto the sponge, but then before putting it onto the pot, you are going to dab it around on the plastic just to break up that paint so it doesn't go on too heavy. Take that sponge and dab that all over your plastic pots until they are completely covered. Let that sit until it's completely dry. Now we're gonna use a hot glue gun to create that honey drip that comes out of the pot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in your hot glue gun stick, but you're gonna let it sit for a bit until the glue starts to ooze out of the tip by itself. Basically it means that it's gonna come out really liquidy and runny when you do press the trigger. So to do this, you're basically just going to squeeze a hot glue gun in sections. Now you're going to want to let it drip, but you only want it to drip so far. Otherwise it becomes just that stringy hot glue gun strands. And what you're wanting it to do is look like liquid flowing over the edge. So do one section, let it dry, overlap again, let it dry, overlap again. Now you aren't going to want to do it around the entire edge, just on like little sections. Imagining it's like someone pouring some honey out of one section and it's just got leftover honey drips. Once you've finished all of that though, you're going to let that dry and then you're going to remove all the little hot glue gun strands of hair that are left behind. And make sure they're all gone because once you start painting, all of those like little bits and pieces are going to show up. Taking your sponge and that gold acrylic paint again, this time you aren't going to be dabbing it off. You want to dab it onto the hot glue gun sections quite thickly. Um, you can dab it or streak it so long as it goes on quite thick. Finally, you're gonna finish it off taking your permanent marker and writing the words honey on the pot. Just remember to put some of the ends backwards, just the way Winnie the Pooh would write it. 